Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Last video, we have go through the on duty member view. If you yet to watch that video, kindly click the link on the top right. And for this video, we will go through the patrol module. Creating a new patrol record. Listing the last 6 hours of patrol record on the map. And the patrolling log in the menu. Let's check the data setting. In the patrolling log table, we have 7 columns and 1 virtual column. Record ID column is a text type, with initial value of unique ID. Checkpoint ID column is a ref column from Checkpoint Master Slice. The Checkpoint Master Slice is read only because I don't want users to create new checkpoint during patrol. And make this column a scannable barcode. Image column is a image type. Location column is a lot long type, with initial value of here. Remark column is a long text type. Checked by column is a ref column to member master table, with initial value of user email. Check date time column is a date time type, with initial value of now. Checked point location column is a lot long type, it is a virtual column. Which value is the location column from checkpoint master table? Alright, table is ready, let's proceed to create the slice. Set the all patrolling log as shown. Set the log within 6 hours read only slice as shown. Alright, slice is ready, let's proceed to the user interface. Set the patrol form in the main menu as shown. And lastly, add an event action in the behavior. This action is to update the last scene location, and the last scene date time for the guard member. Set the action as shown. This action is calling an action from member master table. which the action will update the last scene location, and the last scene date time with current location and current date time. Alright, the patrol form is ready, let's proceed to the map. Set the patrol map as shown. The map also showing the incident record, so we need to set the secondary data table with incident log master. I will explain this detail in the next video. Next set the detail form as shown. Next, set the inline view as shown.
Map is ready, let's proceed to the patrolling login menu, while the map is only showing the last 6 hours of patrol record. In the patrolling log, it will list all, with the lastest record is always on the top. Set the patrolling master as shown. Let's proceed to the form. Set the form as shown. Lastly, add the update last scene location, and the last scene date time as event action. The action is created and we just need to select it from the drop-down list. Next, set the detail view as shown. Next, let's set the pointer icon and the format rule. Set the patrolling icon as shown. We have complete the workshop today. In next video, we will continue with the incident module. See you guys in the next video. Bye.